Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. Today we're going to talk about live imaging. All three brands, Hummingbird, Lowrance, and Garmin. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about Mega Live by Hummingbird, Lowrance Active Target, and of course Garmin Live Scope. Now, we don't actually have a Mega Live in our hands yet. It's not actually shipping quite yet. It's going to be coming out this fall of 2021, but we just got back from iCast last week, and I can go over some of the specifications, some stuff. Again, some of the stuff we went over at iCast, but today we're going to do a comparison through all three brands. For a little bit more in-depth video, check out the link below to our other video that we did on specifically Mega Live at iCast to find out exactly what's going on with Mega Live. All right, guys, so the very first comparison we want to do here is going to be the price point. So basically, everyone, whether it's Hummingbird Mega Live, Lowrance Active Target, or Garmin Live Scope, it's going to basically be about $1,500. I think they're $1,499. Some are $14.99.99, but in an apples to apples comparison, one thing I have to throw in here on the Garmin side, that's our perspective mode mount here. This mount here is basically hundred bucks. It's $99.99, so that takes this price point basically $100 higher in our apples to apples comparison. So this one's $15.99.98, Mega Live and Active Target coming in right at $1,500. The other feature about this is, the Mega Live and the Lowrance Active Target basically include this mount with it. So again, that's where our apples to apples comparison comes from. Mega Live and Lowrance include this mount with it. The interesting thing I will say as well too, Humminbird, I think, really nailed the mount system that goes to the shaft of the trolling motor. It's very easy to click and install, especially with going what's what's called their landscape mode, which is basically the perspective mode here that we're used to. It's to squeeze a couple buttons, rotate your transducer, and you're in landscape mode, perspective mode, in terms of Garmin stuff with what we're familiar with. It works beautifully, really, really seamless. So excited to see some really good engineering on that stuff. So props to the Hummerbird guys for getting that mount made because it's, it's a good mount. Now, one of the next things I want to talk about here that's very, very important, especially from an installation perspective, is both the Lowrance Active Target and both the Garmin LiveScope have a black box or also known as a module box or the module that you have to mount somewhere in the boat. Generally, it's in a compartment or at least somewhere on the bow of the boat. The transducer has to connect to it. Then you have an ethernet cable that runs from your module to your unit to display the active imaging stuff that you're looking at. The key here about this is, is the Hummingbird Mega Live basically has that module built into the transducer. Now, the transducer's a honker. It's a big, big transducer. But with the ability of having that module in your transducer, it does make the installation quite easier. It makes it a lot simpler and it makes it a lot more clean on the installation aspect as well too. So keep that in mind as well as you guys are starting to look at which direction you may wanna go for your next live imaging purchase on this. One of the other key components to this where it really comes down to what I think is one of the most important is the cone angles. Now, what that means is what are the degrees and how are they facing and how that helps you or hurts you in some cases with fishing. Now, our active target, it has one of the most narrow cones out there. It's an 18 degree cone, but on the vertical array, it's 135 degrees. Garmin Live Scope, very, very similar. It's 20 degrees, so it's a little bit wider. We'll show you and capture more information. It's also 135 degrees when in the forward-facing mode, or down mode as well, too. When it comes to the Mega Live, it's 20 degrees, just like the Garmin Live Scope is, but it's 120 degrees vertical, again, whether in forward or down mode as well, too. So just slightly narrower, not much, I don't really know how much of a difference that's gonna make until we get this out on the water, but I really don't think it's gonna make that big of a deal only losing 15 degrees, but time will tell with that. Last thing I wanna go over here that's really important with this, all three brands of live imaging work with a multitude of units out there. So you've got our Lowrance right here. It's gonna work with your carbon units, your lead FS units, your of course HDS live units, the brand new stuff. Garmin LiveScope's been out on the market for a very long time. So this unit right here, it actually is going to work with 77,000 series, 7600s, 7400s, 8400s, 8600 series, uh, Echomap Ultra units, Echomap Plus units, like your 93 Pluses, your 93 UHDs. They all work with a multitude of units. Humminbird Mega Live, G3N Mega, G4N Mega Helix units, that's DI and SI both, all Solix units, 
and all Apex units as well too. So again, guys, these units are really, really similar. The price point's really, really similar on this. Next comparison we're gonna do on these bad boys is getting them on the boat, getting them on the water, and seeing what you guys think as to how close they all three are. Again, I think this is an awesome thing that you now have all three major brands coming out with live technology, live imaging. You Humminbird guys are gonna be able to run Humminbird, Lowrance guys, Lowrance, and of course Garmin guys are gonna be able to run Garmin. So thanks again for checking out this video, guys. Check out our other videos here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, you can reach us at sales at russellmarineproducts.com or 316-313-4113. Thanks, guys.